Let's dig into Kathy Shelton, who the fourth woman was that we saw in this Facebook video that for the first time was introduced to many, many Americans that had never heard that name before. Kathy Shelton. Share that name. Kathy Shelton, the 12-year-old rape victim that Trump put on display and shed so much truth yesterday. Somebody that Hillary Clinton, through representing a known rapist, in my opinion, violated. And in my opinion, also raped. The leftist radical media is going to try to portray what Trump did as somehow a bad thing, that he would show these, these victims when it's just absolute hardcore truth. And you know, the reality is most Americans just can't stomach it. The reality. There was an article that I pulled here. This was from thinkprogress.org. And, you know, they're trying to spin it the other way. I like to read a couple comments here. They say, Kathy Shelton's story has been warped. No, it hasn't. And co-opted. No, it hasn't. It's a true story. By the anti-Clinton machine. Hours before the second presidential debate, Donald Trump invited four women onto stage with him to launch the latest sexist attack on Hillary Clinton by targeting her husband's past indiscretions. Well, a little more than indiscretions. We're talking rape. Now, Kathy Shelton isn't linked to Bill. Let's just make that clear. Hillary Clinton defended the known rapist that raped Kathy Shelton years and years ago, something that Hillary laughed about. And I'm going to play that footage for you today when she's cackling like a whore after defending this known rapist that ruined, to a large extent, Kathy Shelton's life. The campaign ploy was characterized by many as an event with Bill Clinton's accusers, but only three of the women had any connection to Bill Clinton's previous sexual improprieties. The fourth woman, Kathy Shelton, is the only one with direct connection to the woman who is running for president. And then it goes on and on, and they just try to paint like Trump in a bad light. So who is Kathy? Who is Kathy Shelton? Well, she was a child rape victim who just came forward for the first time going to make me cry almost here, for the first time in 40 years, to call Hillary Clinton a liar who defended her rapist by smearing her, blocking evidence, and callously laughing that she knew he was guilty. 40 years she comes out of the woodwork to make that statement. Imagine how hard it must be for her to do that, put herself on display like that. It only tells you how violated and hurt and the damage that Hillary Clinton did to her. That it would bring a woman out of the woodwork after 40 years to make, to make herself known. Because she wants millennials out there to know the truth about who Hillary Clinton is and what her character and lack of integrity and morality is all about. Hillary Clinton is not for women and children, says Kathy, who's now 54 years old, who was 12 years old when she was raped by Thomas Alfred Taylor, whom Hillary defended in Arkansas. Clinton, again, was the rapist defense lawyer, pleading him down to unlawful fondling of a minor. The 41-year-old drifter served less than a year in prison, thanks to Hillary. The plea came after Clinton was able to block the admission of forensic evidence that linked her client to the crime. Shelton says she's furious that Clinton has been portraying herself as a lifelong advocate of women and girls on the campaign trail. Clinton accused Shelton of seeking out older men in the case and demanded that she undergo a grueling court-ordered psychiatric examination. Hillary Clinton, your presidential candidate, later laughed while discussing aspects of the case in a recently unearthed audio taped interview from the 1980s. And you look at some of these pictures, and Hillary looks like such a dweeb, too, in some of these pictures years and years ago as she defends this known rapist. I want to play because the audio speaks louder than anything you could possibly I could possibly say because again it's it's just the evidence. You know, we had new people come to the show last night. They're like, who's this conspiracy theorist? None of this is conspiracy, folks. It's just hardcore fact and truth. But the reality is most Americans can't stomach it. So instead of just listening to me, let's take a moment and listen to the witch that is Hillary Clinton on this recorded audio tape over the next two minutes or so where she laughs about defending 
this known rapist and said after he took a polygraph test and passed, <laughs> she no longer believes in polygraph tests because she knew he was guilty while she was representing him. Go to that clip. You're saying while I hold you does some criminal work. Uh, can you tell me a little about that? What, what sort of... Uh... Oh, I didn't, I didn't do much, but I taught criminal law. I did some, you know, uh, I never did a criminal trial. I did, uh, you know, jury trial. I did, uh, you know, probable cause hearings and other cases. I had some you know, really tough clients. I had one appear that uh, the prosecutor called me years ago and said that, and he had a guy who was accused of rape. And the guy wanted a woman lawyer. Mm. And wow. I do it as a favor to him. That's really awesome. Terrible case. Yeah. Remember that case where I represented that yeah. guy? That was it was it was it was a fascinating case. It was really an interesting case. This guy was accused of raping a twelve year old who was the daughter of the family he was living in Springfield. He was on the side of the tracks in Springfield. And uh, the guy was from Green Forest. His family still had a little farm. And he was one of these uh, ruthless folks who wasn't going to make a living on the land and he was kind of around. Ended up in Springfield looking for another place to live. Of course, he claimed that he didn't do all this stuff. And he took a lot of paper tests. I had to take a polygraph, which he passed. Forever destroyed my faith in politics. <laughs> the, uh, but you know what was sad about it was that the prosecutors. Yeah. So again, folks. I mean, there's the evidence. You hear the, the cackling, the laughing. She no longer believed in polygraph tests after that because she knew her client was guilty, but she still defended a known rapist. Mm -hmm.